Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guys. So we are in week two of Ulster Review Month and this week we're going to be looking at Sniper Gear's appendix inside the waistband Ulster. This is the one a lot of people have been talking about. It's been getting a lot of attention on social media with its paracord webbing. So we're going to be having a look at it in my usual fashion which is concealment, comfortability and retention. And then just like personal things buyers aid things to look out for when you buy the holster so if you are interested in this or interested in getting one of these we can let you know what to look out for okay guys in terms of concealment i have to be honest i'm extremely pleased with what sniper gear have managed to produce the holster conceals absolutely perfectly expertly um, i'm even more pleased and impressed because this design was somewhat of a conceptual design and I was very fortunate to sort of work with them in the late phases. Um, they sent one to me for early access. And as you can see, it conceals pretty much like a champ. White t-shirt, not too much of a bulge. It's always going to be a bulge, you know, when you're wearing an appendix ulster because you've got a few centimeters worth of ulster inside the front of your pants. But in terms of concealment, I'm more than happy. So that's for me, it's pretty much 10 out of 10 with, with, with the setup. Now, where we do need to talk about things is comfortability. The, there isn't a problem. I've heard one or two people come to me with this holster and say they have a, a problem with comfortability when sitting down. What you got to remember here, this holster is quite wide. Flat setup, it's about 23 centimeters from edge to edge. So when you do sit down, you might get a situation where the edges might begin to dig in. It's a very, very easily uh, solvable problem. I'll show you exactly what you need to do in order to sort of solve that problem easy on easy off as you can see when you sit down when it's in your standard position just take your belt as you can see over here and just lift it up literally half a centimeter and your sitting down becomes no problem i also experienced a degree of discomfort in the beginning i made that small adjustment and then it was 100 percent so that's a small comfortability adjustment also the people who've contacted me and said they felt like they dis a slight discomfort when sitting down have then reported that that small adjustment solves the problem entirely so the, like i said the holster is a bit wide so it may be a little bit uncomfortable initially when you sit down because it sort of digs into your the, the, the inner thigh area but just holding it up when you sit down is good to go standing up it's completely comfortable concealment i'm very impressed with comfortability small adjustment and you are pretty much good to go retention so retention on all sniper gears holsters i don't know if it's all of them but the holsters i've seen you can't set it after purchase so what that means is once you buy it and you take it home you can't adjust the retention yourself you've got to sort of adjust it in store i always recommend if you are going to buy any products from any company you know go in the store chat to them feel how it feels on your body and have them adjust the retention for you sort of pre-purchase so you're getting exactly what you want you can tell them over the phone um, if you do order one or via email and they will adjust the retention for you accordingly so don't let it be a it's not a big deal they they are totally cool about adjusting it for you don't stress about that and then the big question is what is the story with the paracord so i'll start off on this side the paracord is designed on this side both aesthetically and as a layer of extra layer of binding between this leather piece which allows the holster to bend and as you can sort of see there, you can get a very aggressive bend. Now for appendix carry, a bendable holster is super useful. The thing here is that this holster comes with no natural curve. It comes with a flat setup. So what you're going to need in order to achieve that curve is a good belt and a good pants. Very, very important. If you're wearing a normal dress belt here or something that you bought from Mr. Price or wherever the case may be, it's not going to give you that super comfort and that good concealability as if you're wearing a good gun belt but that's not the fault of the holster you will get yourself some good kit in order to in order to complement your good gear and then on the side of the slide so this this is to provide a more tactile feeling when reholstering which it really really does you, you sort of get like a stepped kind of reholstering experience when when sliding your firearm back into the holster and then also to protect your slide um, so the paracord sort of goes is the first pretty much the only thing your your holster touches and it's like a slide protection. I initially thought retention and this would be a problem because of, of that um, paracord. But as you can see, it's not a problem at all. They can set it perfectly. And this, like I said, this does cater for the Olight PL Mini. So that's even more cool. I have pretty aggressive slide serrations on my firearm. And I thought that was going to be a problem. It did initially chafe the paracord. But then after about, I'd say about 
10 or 20 holsters and unholsters, it stopped chafing and now it doesn't chafe at all. So where it was or where it did chafe, it hasn't gotten worse. And that is after a good few hundred practice holstering and unholstering. Concealment, comfortability and retention. Concealment, I'm 100%, 10 out of 10. That's really, really good. Comfortability, you just got to make that small adjustment and your comfortability will be fine. And then retention, as I said, you can't set this after purchase. So go into the store, have them set it how you want it. They are super cool about that. And I think it's like a free service as far as I understand. So they're really cool about that. Okay, guys, so things to note about this holster. First off, with all sniper gear holsters, or I think with all the appendix holsters, always take the time to ensure they adjust the retention to how you want it and do tell them that. Tell them if you want it loose or tight so they can make that adjustment for you. That's kind of always the first thing I want to say about the holsters because you can't adjust the tension afterwards. Secondly, like I said, it is quite a wide holster. You are going to have a proper, need a proper belt and a proper pants in order to achieve that curve. I do like the curve though. As you can see, you get a super, you can get a super aggressive curve. You can go from there sort of, which is a, a 90 degree angle to everything in between obviously so that's quite cool so you can you know once you get this also set up like you wanted you can actually basically have it in any way you want and what i do like about it is it does retain its shape really well some of the others that have this piece in the middle they are very very flappy so it just flaps around the sniper gear piece sort of stays as is and that that's that's quite cool so you kind of get that nice molded feeling the reason for the uncomfortability, I feel, is because there's this extra piece uh, to allow for the clip. Now, it kind of is what it is. You know, there's nothing much they can do about it. So we just have to accept that and, and, and work around it. Don't let that be the reason you don't get the holster, because it definitely is a good appendix holster. What I like about Sniper Gear, firstly, is you can have it pretty much in any color. I'm a big fan of carbon fiber and um, red. They also gave me the red paracord. Also, a lot of people have questioned the need for the flash. I like the flashiness of this, but it's not going to be for everybody. Remember, you can have this holster in complete black. You know, black holster, black paracord, black everything. So it'll just look like a normal black holster. The paracord on the inside of the slide, that definitely is a functional thing. It feels way different to re-holster with this than it does with any other holster. You don't get that retention click. It's kind of like a friction retention situation, but you get like steps as your slide goes over the, 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 the different um, sort of uh, webbings on the, of the paracord. It definitely is a very tactile, very different feeling. If you haven't tried this you would not know what this feels like because it feels like no other holster. So that's kind of cool. I'm a big fan of innovation. I like people to try things that are different, which is why I actually do quite like this holster. This is for the PL Mini, and you do find the clip to be very close to the claw. So I feel that's probably the only way it, it, it can be designed. Fortunately, though, that claw is like literally where it should be towards the, 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 the back end of the grip. So you get that functionality where it's pushing it into your body and also it goes over the belt that's the most important thing claws need to go over the belt they need to be sort of mid to high on the clip not not low on the clip you get a good um three finger grip on the firearm does present the firearm really well which is very nice so really good holster very impressed with it one small adjustment needed and you are good to go thanks guys have a good week i'll see you guys next week for another holster review cheers god bless